Hi everyone and welcome to Steam Powered Family. Today we have a fun twist on a classic STEM project making a popsicle stick catapult. Today we are making it as a snowball catapult for some indoor winter STEM fun. In this project we're going to be exploring lots of different physics including potential and kinetic energy, energy transfer, we're going to be learning about angles and trajectory, we're going to be learning about force. The more you press down on that lever, the more your uh, snowballs are going to fly. We're also going to learn, of course, about simple machines, which is what a catapult is and has been used many times throughout history. We're going to be learning about fulcrums and we're going to be learning about levers. All of this while also having a lot of fun. As you can see here, we have been using our uh, snowball popsicle stick catapult to launch our little pom-pom snowballs at a tree to see if we can land them in the tree. This game is very, very addictive and fun. So let's make our very own snowball catapults and have some fun with STEM for the holidays. This is a really easy project. All you need for this project are some pom-poms, jumbo craft sticks, elastics, and then you're gonna want a bottle cap or a disposable spoon, any sort of little plastic cup that you can glue onto one of your craft sticks. I recommend doing it with a hot glue gun. Um, you can use school glue, um, but a hot glue gun just makes it a little bit more secure if your kids get really excited when they're launching. So I've already glued mine on just for expediency here. So let's build our catapults. Now, a catapult is a simple machine that is going to have a lever. We're gonna need two craft sticks for our lever. And then we're going to want at least eight. We're gonna go with 10 today for our snowball catapult. So let's count them out here. And that is going to be our fulcrum. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but we're gonna go with 10. So we're gonna add two more. So these are our extras, we're gonna set to the side. So we're going to take these and I'm going to just arrange them just into a nice pattern here. Add one of those in there, a couple more red ones, another green one. Actually here, let's, we want, a, we want our nice colors on the outside here, so let's, slide that in there. So there. And then I want to get on the outside. So there. I've got my stack. So you can do minimum eight, I recommend, but you we're going to try 10 today. And then what you want to do is take this stack and we're going to use our elastics on either end to secure them. make it too tight but you do want it secure. There we go. So we've got our stack here. Now we're going to make our lever. So like I said I've already glued on a bottle cap. This is what's going to hold our projectiles which is our little pom-pom snowballs. Here I'll grab a white one. There we go. More like a snowball. So what we need to do now is we're going to stack these two and we're going to take the bottom one and we're going to slide it in between. You want to go on top of the bottom one but before the second one. So we're just going to open that up a bit and slide it through. So hopefully you can see how that works. You're just going to slide it through and you want it to come through just a little bit. So we kind of have like almost a plane shape here. And now we're going to take our lever, top of our lever that has the uh, bottle cap. And we want to take an elastic and just attach the ends there. So they're gonna make like a little V here. Sorry, I'm not facing the camera. Actually, you know what? I can do it this way for you. Might be a little easier as well for your kids if you do it this way and then slide the bottom through when we're done. 
So I'm just attaching them like that. We're going to separate the bottom one. And we're just going to slide it through. You'll have to watch your elastic here so it doesn't slide off the end. But once you get it in position, you should be good to go. There. So now we're just going to add an elastic that's going to secure our lever to our fulcrum. So I'm just going to go take it, go across. is ready to go. So we're just going to put our lever in there. You want to use a stabilizing finger, usually I do it here, and we launch our snowballs. And that's our snowball catapults. Super easy, fun to do, and you can create targets. So you can use a Christmas tree and see if you can get your snowballs onto the Christmas tree. You can make little cups that you could use to um, aim at and make it into a math game for the holidays. You can do all sorts of different things with your little catapults. You could see whose goes the farthest. Remember, we did ours with 10 jumbo craft sticks here on the um, fulcrum. You could try it with more or less and see, do some measurements and see which one launches the farthest. No matter what, your kids are going to have fun launching their snowballs for the holidays with their homemade catapult. I hope you had fun with this project. If you're looking for more STEM ideas for the holidays, we have lots of ideas for everything from elementary through to high school. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.